I look toward、um, one of my favorite sort of Japanese、uh, designers, Sanrio. They're famous for their、uh, designs for Hello Kitty. And I thought, you know, if I'm going to sort of illustrate the Hindu pantheon, I just thought, well, let me try to at least make it as cute as possible. And hopefully, in that way, maybe people feel disarmed to actually read the stories. And, and maybe then people might be open to actually sort of learn about the deities and perhaps even the culture. The Asian Art Museum reached out to me about five or six years ago because of my first book that I published about the Hindu deities. I think、um, they really sort of appreciated that my work was clearly driven from my research and investigation. After I、uh, contributed my artwork for the Maharaja exhibition, the museum was really besides themselves and they really took to it. And so then the museum reached out to me and they thought, hey, would you be interested in your own sort of space inside the museum? I'm like, are you kidding me? That'd be a dream come true. It's just this great sort of sandwich of、uh, sort of classical, beautiful Indian mythology、uh, through the lens of sort of modern graphic design and illustration and storytelling, as well as all these great sketches that I did for the Maharaja exhibitions. The whole reason I would say it's a big dream come true is, you know, for I get a lot of feedback on my sort of artwork and my books, and people think they sort of compliment me. It's really flattering, and they sort of say how original the work is. and I'm the first person to say, hey, this stuff is so derived from all this great artwork and storytelling from the past. The research that I put into all my books and my work is absolutely a product of how we do things at Pixar.、Um, before we do anything, we absolutely research the heck out of our subject matter. Sometimes you'll see Hanuman depicted more monkey like, sometimes you'll see him more depicted as almost like a Superman, like kind of buffed with abs. And so I decided, you know, I really wanted to honor his monkey sort of colorings. And so I actually decided to paint him white,、uh, white fur, and have sort of a dark, darker colored face. It's finally nice to sort of breathe fresh life into it in a way that's, again, really reverent and really sort of honors their roots and their past, but also. Let's them breathe and let's them have fun. And I don't want to say it's a European perspective, but it's almost a very European sort of notion to sort of bring these, I don't know, symbols and icons and statues from Southeast Asia and bring them to a museum. And they're, act, they're virtually naked. If you go to a sort of South Asian temple, they actually decorate their deities. It wasn't this distant God, it was actually a God that they sort of, I don't know, interacted with every day in a very sort of human way. The most important thing has always been to like sort of create work that's appealing to me. I want to see sort of Krishna or Vishnu depicted in a sort of a modern way so I could literally make a print of it and put it up on my wall or literally make a design of it and silk screen it on my t shirt. And that's when I finally it dawned on me that, wow, you know, by, by really sort of reinterpreting these deities in a way that's modern and yet sort of reverent to their history, I'm building a bridge for. Young and old audiences to finally sort of make friends with this culture and these icons and this, these, their stories.